the difference between the two r squared equals 6%. It is a very important result. It shows that we may apply a linear regression for modeling the regularity of our interest. If the difference is large, for example, larger than 10%, the uh, linear regression may not be applied for our data. This conclusion leans on one my idea. We know that ANOVA doesn't require linearity of uh, the function. On the other hand, linear regression requires a linear uh, function form containing in our data. Thus, comparing two models, one of which doesn't require linear form and another does require linear form, if these two models produce roughly one value of r squared, then linear functional shape is uh, natural. Thus, the difference between ANOVAS r squared and linear regression r squared plays a role of a criterion whether uh, the finding regularity is linear or not. And I suggest a threshold which equals 10%. Thus, if the difference between the two r squared is larger than 10%, then linear model may not be applied. In our case, linear model is rather applicable. In other series of videos, I will, I will interpret the gained regression model and will consider regression models with interaction effects.